Welcome to CSET Biology, the cover page. I am Mr. Wilson, and today we're going to be doing an overview of a criteria for marking SBA skills. You might have seen a number of mark schemes on my page, and you might be wondering where is this information from. Now, it's pretty much a summarized and a simplified version of a mark scheme from CXC that you'd be seeing on my channel. However, there's this document that I found on the CXC website titled Caribbean Examination Council, Caribbean Secondary Education Certificate Criteria for Marking SBA Skills. And pretty much this would be the document that the moderator should be taking to your school to mark the respective SBA books. If you observe here, it is saying the name of the center, the name of the teacher, of course, the center code, and of course, year of examination. So I'm gonna be going through this criteria for marking SBA skills with you very slowly, and then you could just look at what we have on the channel and the others that will come in short order. You wanna be sure that you're scoring full marks for your SBA and to do that you must of course know what is required of you so I'm going to be going through what CXE has here and then I'm going to be sending you on over to my channel to look at my playlist with Mark Scheme. So we are looking here at the first skill, we refer to it as MM. So it's a criteria for marking skill. So the first skill here is MM. If you were supposed to go to our channel and look at biology skill, you'd see all these skills outlined as to how they are supposed to be done. And outside of the skills being outlined on the channel, you will also see the mark scheme and the lab so it's really pretty much a three-phase thing the skills the labs then the mark scheme you must master the skills in order to do the lab and having done the lab then the mark scheme will of course be used to grade you so for measurement and manipulation here it is saying that competence use of equipment uh, including economical use of material now what does that mean it means that you're supposed to master using particular equipment in the lab so depending on which equipment you're using the mark scheme will be skewed towards that particular equipment and when you're using reagent things like reagent definitely you want to ensure that you are using it economically you are not wasting spilling it all over the counter playing with it showing it on other persons that is what is being graded here then it speaks to accuracy of measurement now you must be able to manipulate that instrument that you're using and you'll find that on my channel i would have brought down the method of using the equipment uh, we have one with temperature there right now we are going to be putting up the others in short order so we would have brought that down so that it is easier for you to score marks you are observing here that four marks was awarded for competent use of equipment and you probably don't even know how to use the equipment but that we have broken down on the channel accurate measurement probably you don't even know how to take an accurate measurement and if you go to the channel you can see a video on that you could watch the skill measurement and manipulation and of course you could go to the mark scheme now safety and care for property now you probably don't even know what to do here on our channel we have gone through and simplified this so that you can get the full mark so here you're realizing that the lab is marked 10 out of 10, but we have simplified it on the channel to make it be 1, 2, that type of thing, and going up to 10. All this is broken down in steps for you to garner that full mark. So you want to go on over to my channel at CSET Biology, the cover page, and look at the mark scheme and, of course, the skill for MM. Make sure that you are following. This is the guide from CXC. It is not our property at CSEC Biology, the cover page. It is pretty much the CSEC property. Then we're going on down to observation, recording, and reporting. And you might see the same thing being said as observation, 
reporting recording it is the r's are used interchangeably but pretty much this is how cxc has it so now it's 10 out of 10 for these labs and here it is saying relevant observation now depending on what you're looking for the observation might be different because you're using your five senses to observe so again the mark scheme that your teacher is using will be specific for the particular lab you're doing and the observation that is expected now it is saying here you are supposed to recheck unexpected results so when you have unexpected results you want to ensure that you're rechecking because of course most of these labs would have been done before by some persons probably many a times and the results are well known for you it might be new so of course you have to ensure that what you're doing falls within line of the norm or of course there must be some explanation why it is out so you want to ensure that you recheck these results if they are not within norm now appropriate model for recording data appropriate model for recording data you might be using a table you might be using prose you might be using a graph you might be using picture graph you want to ensure that whichever method that you are using is appropriate for the particular scenario hence you want to see our video on CSET biology the cover page on how to use a table how to use graphs and that type of a thing to ensure that you're scoring full marks for the examination and if you observe here the marks for this type of skill or for this part of the skill is four marks you really wouldn't want to lose that because you took no time to go and do your due diligence now accuracy of recording and reporting including units now for example all units are recorded in a table it is done in a specific manner so you have to ensure that you understand that how that is to be done and that we have outlined on the channel in our ORR skill of course we have a mark scheme but you must know the skill in order to score full marks now how you're recording is it in present tense is it in past tense that type of thing is well outlined on the channel we also have a lab that is written up on the channel for you called laboratory skills and that should provide great assistance in assisting you to get to that 10 out of 10 point so you want to ensure that you are following like we're doing now we're doing an overview of the criteria for marking SBA skill and this document is from the CXC I got it from the CSEC website and you can go there as well and get a copy for yourself and see how best you can score that 10 marks but of course we are going to be going through a number of labs a number of mark schemes to ensure that it is easier for you to score that 10 out of 10. Now, planning and design is probably the last lab that most uh, students would be doing. And of course, here you are looking for hypothesis and the hypothesis must be clearly stated and of course, testable, meaning that you are able to test it. And for that, it is one mark. So learning how to write an hypothesis is a work in itself. And yes, we have a video on the channel to assist you with that. Writing an aim is also a challenge from the hypothesis and we have a video on the channel you can go and check that as well now appropriate apparatus and material come on if you're doing an experiment you must use the correct instrument in order to get the correct result so you want to ensure that you see our video on planning and design it is well outlined here on the CSET document and if you follow this guide and the simplified version that we have on our channel of course you're going to be scoring that 10 out of 10 then you have suitable method you have to have a method that is suitable in order to get to that point to get that desired result or to ensure that the test was done correctly so this is well outlined here and of course the expected result must be stated what is it that you're expecting to see and if you don't see that then what is likely to happen how should we interpret your experiment then we have the assumption and of course slash precaution a possible source of error all of those whichever one you're going to be having what is the assumption what might go wrong what might go right uh, what are the possible source of error what could cause the experiment not to go as 
it should and you're getting one mark for that and that way is broken down well in our planning and design lab you want to go over there and see the skill for planning and design on my channel CSET biology the cover page and we are looking now at the drawing skill now this is a skill that I think most students are not doing very very well uh, drawing I don't <laughs> I, I think we have to do a whole lot of work with drawing now drawing you, you need to have some amount of clarity now clean continuous line no shading that is outlined in the skills for drawing we have it on the channel there and it must be representative of whatever you're drawing it must look pretty much the same uh, so um faithfulness of reproduction proportions are reasonable these are things that you have to look at if you are drawing you must know that this can pretty much fulfill the the, the desire of that person who needs to see the real thing so your drawing should of course give that real pictorial representation of whatever you drew now it must be reasonable sized in your book right so do, these are things that you have to follow and all these are pretty much simplified on our channel here it is well done I don't think that it, this really needs to simplify to be simplified anymore because you are seeing here that the grades are all broken down into really really small bits and pieces and that of course you can follow now analysis and interpretation is something that requires you to pull out some deeper knowledge so here we have calculation it must be accurate formula and equation you need to state them how did you arrive at your answer it's a calculation shows what you did don't just go tapping that calculate and put up answer on the paper that is not good enough you need to show the calculation summary of data including identification of trends pattern and relationship you want to do that comparison and uh, of course contrast that data to ensure that you are doing a good analysis and interpretation of the data you need to also provide explanation and again interpretation of result that pretty much link to theoretical concept data and of course hypothesis so don't just come pulling something from your memory ensure that you have your background knowledge there ensure that what you have there can be supported by plausible evidence and of course you want a conclusion that is related to the aim and of course some amount of reflection the lab that you have done how is it applicable to the real world in your reflection how can you use this it make any sense if we're doing diffusion understanding the concept of diffusion we could say that we it's not wise to apply insecticide at any time because of course the temperature and the size of a particle could cause a particle to drift and of course affect other persons so reflection is a very very important part of your analysis and interpretation so the document was done March 6 2018 and it's pretty much the guide assessing you for CXC labs and the labs here that we're looking at is measurement and manipulation observation recording and reporting planning and design drawing analysis and interpretation and of course there's another lab that you'll have to look in the back of the syllabus to see that is the implementation of the planning and design so that's going to be our review for the criteria for marking SBA skills I do hope that we provided some clarity and of course some direction as to how to access this document it is on the CSEC website you can go there at any time and of course fetch yourself a copy of this document to ensure that you're scoring that 10 out of 10 for teachers this is of course going to be a good guide to help you to make that simpler version of the mark scheme for your students until next time take care and if you have not yet like share or subscribe it is time to do so now remember when you subscribe to hit that notification bell so you can be informed as soon as there is a new publication Thanks so much for watching and be safe.